Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. The S&P 500 was down 0.2% today, kind of continuing the slide that we've had here, a little bit over 4% off the high uh, that we had. Uh, again, you know, there's a lot of news that we can attach to this, the Middle East tensions, the fact that the bond yields are coming up and that takes money away from the stock market or, you know, the Federal Reserve was out today, you know, kind of in force talking about, you know, maybe not lowering rates as soon as people seem to think. Uh, and, you know, they put that news onto this. But if you really look at what's been going on here from October 27th up until just recently, this market was just on fire, it just keep going and going with very little pullback, right? And uh, you, you can't really do that very often. And we've seen it, I, you know, if you go back in the chart, it, it seemed to be, you know, 95, the, really the last time that happened. Um, and so uh, we've got this scenario where, you know, the market has pulled up so high. And one of the problems with that is that, you know, there's no support. It didn't spend much time at any one of those price levels, especially since you're hitting all time highs. Uh, so never hit those price levels before. So there's no support where it could get back to where people would start to buy again. You know, usually you get support when there's a it's, the market spent some time at that price and people say, hey, it came back again, uh, you know, I'll buy it there again. So uh, I do think the catalyst to kind of get us going again will be earnings. Uh, the Middle East tension situation still can dominate. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, but if you look at what could be a catalyst to the upside here, uh, be earnings. Uh, that's usually the thing that drives the beginning of these big upward bull markets is earnings. Uh, and we've been, you know, exceeding expectations quarter after quarter after quarter for the last few years. Uh, and they keep rising the expectations and the companies keep jumping over those hoops. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that again uh, this quarter. Uh, it seems like things are good. And, you know, the reason that inter interest rates are going up on bonds and all these things are happening and the Fed is talking about, you know, not uh, r lowering rates is because the economy is doing well uh, and companies are doing well. And so that should translate to earnings. Earnings are the ultimate driving force for the stock market uh, in the end. Uh, so uh, be interesting to see how this plays out. But, uh, you know, we're just heading into earnings season here. Uh, you know, got a little ways to go before we get to the, the big companies that really seem to drive things. Uh, but anyway, that's what happened today. I look forward to being able to talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.